Hello everyone, uh, in this game we're gonna have a look at Carlson's fourth round game. He is on one and a half out of three after losing in the first round and throwing against Elinov in the third round. So very important to win here and his opponent is Salem Aer Saleh from the United Arab Emirates. And he opened with d4 and Carlson with black went knight f6. We saw the queen's gambit declined, knight c3, and play here is very, very standard, bishop h4, castles, e3, and then b6, the Tartakovic variation, we see bishop d3 from white, normal development, bishop to b7, white castled, knight b to d7, so very solid and fluid development from Carlsen. And black is very close to to equalizing. Queen e2 from white, c5, and now rook d1 lining up against the queen. Carlsen decided to take on d4. Salem took with the knight, and knight c5. White is threatening to win the bishop pair. And the bishop on d3 is especially important, so white wants to keep that one, but decides to give up the bishop on h4. He now takes on d5, and bishop takes d4. And this means that we are going to have an isolated queen pawn. After all these moves, white takes on d3, and bishop takes d5. So play is now characterized by this pawn here, which we call an IQ, IQP, or an isolated queen pawn. And we'll see if Carlson can give us an, a demonstration in how to play against this pawn. Rook e1, rook c8, Carlson puts the rook on the open file. Logical play, rook a to d1, and rook c7. But now we see that the idea all along was to bring the rook to the d file to attack the weakness on d4. Queen to g3, rook d7. And now play uh, is rather quiet, nothing uh, nothing significant happening. We're, we're going to see some maneuvering. Carlson puts both his rooks on the d file, so naturally white must respond and defend the pawn on d4. And now Carlson retreats his bishop. And for the next move, uh, next few moves, we're going to see kind of a circling technique, going around in circles, uh, probing his opponent. This is a, a rapid game, so sometimes it's important to just make moves, make your opponent think, and put them in time pressure. And queen of six. Okay, now we got maximum attackers on this, but we can't really improve it just yet. King h2, queen f5, a3, what is making moves that don't hurt this position, like a3 and king h2, bishop d5, rook c1, bishop c4. And going in circles back to a6 and now back to b7. So nothing significant happening yet. Queen g3, threatening mate, but white can play queen g3 since he can recapture with the king if black were to take. But cousin doesn't take, he attacks the pawn on d4 again. And now queen e3 again. And bishop c6. So not much progress being made. Queen g6 again. Now f3, and perhaps this is a slight uh, improvement for black, at least we have a weakness now on this diagonal potentially where the king stands, but that's unlikely to be sign significant unless something drastic happens, but we'll see, bishop to d5, knight to e4, white is not advised to take on, on d5. We'll have a look at that. In that case, black would have some, the somewhat easy strategy of maneuvering the queen and then pushing the e-pawn and simply winning this pawn. So this is what white must be always careful about. So he played knight e4, rook c8 by Carlsen, knight went back. So very quiet maneuvering play, queen to e5, queen back to d8. But now finally, 
it looks like Carlsen is ready to set up Alikin's gun. Queen behind, and then both rooks in front to attack the weakness on d4. This took some time, but often they say that good technique uh, involves taking your time, not rushing. So queen c8, and this is just a little bit of probing. He will come back to the d file eventually. Rook c4, rook e to d1, queen back to d8, rook d3. And now a6, slightly improving the pawns on the queen side, and dancing them with b5. The knight goes back to d1, and now rook c6. And now Carlsen is finally ready for the final assault on the weakness on d4. Ali Khan's gun has been set up, so what's next? We attack bishop c4, attacking the rook. Here, Salem took on c4. If he were to play his rook back, it looks like he's running into problems here because now the Alicant's gun comes into effect and we can take the pawn. So he decided rather to take on c4, but this allows Carlson to execute his plan, play rook d5. And e5 is on the cards. So if white doesn't want to lose the pawn, he has to attack uh, the c4 pawn. He does it here. So now Carlson wins the d4 pawn. Rook takes and pawn takes. White does get his pawn back, but now black has a beautiful army to support his pass pawn and he pushes it. And this pawn is coming in fast. The rook must come back to block the pawn. D2. No, he played rook e7 first, excuse me. Queen b4, and now d2. Queen b4 is sort of x ring e1. So after rook d1, there's no rook e1. Now the pawn is attacked, so Carlsen plays rook to e2. And this pawn is too strong. There's not much what I can do, really. He went with queen c3, but now queen b6 check. King h2 and queen g6. Now we have a mate threat on g2. Salem decided to give a check on g8, bring the queen back to h3, uh, excuse me, to g4 and cover the g2 square. Carlsen did not want to trade queens, he went queen c2, attacking the rook. And you can't protect this rook. You can, however, play f4, which he did. And now you better not take the rook because then you run into a very unfortunate perpetual king goes to c8 we just go back and forth here and you can't play g6 because queen takes f7 and the new perpetual here so Carson has to be careful and of course he's aware of this and after f4 he plays queen to e4 not rushing b4 by white and now f5 this pushes the queen back, and now he attacks the rook again. And there's nothing to be done. Salem tried the same trick, queen h3. Now if you take the rook, the same perpetual will arrive. But simply king h8 here by Carlsen. And now white doesn't have a move, and white can either make a queen or take the rook on the next move. So Salem resigned. So, a good result for Carlsen, he is now on two and a half out of four, not ideal. We can imagine that the tournament will be won with something like 11 and a half or 12 points. So it's clear that Carlsen can't afford many more, uh, many more mistakes in this tournament and we'll see how he, how he gets along.